pretty cool little uh, sparse campus spot. Got my umbrella. I'm gonna go for a hike real quick just to get out for a little bit. This is Richardson Bottoms Wildlife Viewing Area. Yep, home sweet home right here. Hey, I'm currently dispersed camping in the Washita National Forest. I'm in the northern uh, part of uh, Lake Washita. I'm dispersed camped off of uh, Highway 298, and I'm found a dispersed camping spot down this dirt road. I'm about a half a mile from uh, Highway 298. I found this pretty cool little clearing right here to do some dispersed camping. Let's take a look. I picked this dispersed camping spot because of the Richardson's Bottoms down this road. Richardson Bottoms probably about two and a half miles that way on this dirt road. And I'm going to take you guys down there later on show you the Richardson Bottoms down there. It's pretty much like a wetlands down there. Got some pretty cool little uh, uh, lots of uh, wildlife around that wetlands down there. But first, take a look at my uh, dispersed camping spot right here. It has been raining all day yesterday. Pretty much stayed in the camper one night or one day because it's raining, did a little bit of hiking. It looks like somebody's been uh, checking out or using this straw for horses maybe. So yeah. I noticed when I was on Google Maps, I was on a satellite view, I noticed an RV parked right here, actually a couple of them. But people are using this, an RV, doing their own little dispersed camping out here. And I've been here for several days and I have not had nobody come down this road. So it's a pretty quiet road, at least as long as I've been here. It's been a pretty cool little uh, dispersed camping spot. I didn't have to use anything to level up my vehicle. I picked this spot right here because it was pretty level. Of course, I got my Starlink up. I extended it on that pole because I am surrounded by trees. And I've got like one opening right here. So I figured I'd extend it as far as I could to try to clear some of the tree line. But I've got excellent uh, Starlink out here. It's working great. I think there's uh, two bars of uh, Verizon and two megabytes, I think what's called a download on cellular. Here's my new uh, motorcycle I bought. I traded in my Honda Rally 250 and my KLR 650 and uh, bought this Honda Rally or a Honda Transap uh, 750. Really liking it. I've had this for a couple months now. I've got some uh, crash bars. I just haven't uh, installed them yet. I'll be getting on that pretty soon. I have installed my fog lights, my auxiliary lights. Helps out when I'm uh, riding my bike at night. Got me some uh, giant loop luggage. And I got some racks down in there. Which I really like these, because I can lock them on to my bike. I can take my luggage off real easy, Just unlock it, and uh, pull it off. I have been uh, exploring the area down through here, and uh, that's why my bike is pretty dirty. It's been raining, like I said. That's why I, the main reason why I picked this spot was because uh, I want to do a lot of exploring, run some of the dirt roads, see what's all out here, and to check out that Richardson Bottoms down here. Richardson Bottoms about two miles down the road. Went down there and checked it out. I'll show you guys later on that one. I think I have my security camera right up here. Let's see if you'll catch me. And I think I got another one somewhere else. Don't know where I put it. Oh, uh, right there. I got one right there. And I got one right there. Catch people coming in. Like I said, I've had nobody uh, bothering me when I've been here. 
What I was telling you earlier about uh, it raining all day yesterday, but like this started like early in the morning. It pretty much went all the way until 6 p.m. Uh, that night. I didn't be able to get out. Uh, I was getting a little bit of cabin fever, getting a little antsy, and I did put on my, I guess, uh, rain boots and uh, got an umbrella. And if you could tell right there, that curb right there, there's a log road to the uh, left. I went to hike over there. I'm gonna take you on a hike over there and show you that hiking trail. Take a look. I do enjoy Hiking in the rain. If you have never hiked in the rain, go out there and uh, experience at least one time. Yeah, I really don't like when it starts raining, especially all day. I don't mind the rain. I mean, you get some good uh, sleeping weather, but it rains, starts in the morning, it lasts pretty much all day. That's when I start getting uh, a little cabin fever, I guess what you call it. I'm in a national forest right now. Got my umbrella. I'm gonna go for a hike real quick just to get out for a little bit. And there it is. That looked pretty cool down through there. And I do have my uh, rain boots on. So I can walk right through the water. That's pretty cool looking. Looks very inviting. I've always liked being out here hiking. When you come to a uh, hill like this, you finally get to see what's the other side of the hill. Isn't it so inviting down through here? Especially during the rain, while it's raining. You're especially less likely to run into anybody. Yeah, I usually don't let the weather stop me from going outside if it's snowing or sleeting or raining. I usually just put on the proper gear, the right gear, and go out. Get all that down through there. Like I said earlier, if you have not hiked in the rain, definitely throw you on some uh, rain gear and uh, come out here and take a look at it. It's so peaceful and quiet out here. And this is going to be a leisurely hike, so that's why I brought my umbrella. If I was going to go, you know, several miles, I'll probably just have rain gear and uh, leave the umbrella. Right there looks like a pretty overflowing creek. Down in that valley. Let's go take a look. Looky there. That's a pretty nice rolling creek right there. But there's some fish up in there. I'm not for sure what creek this is. If I can find it online, I thought right here on this. Uh, video. Pretty nice size creek running through there. All this rain. I think it's going to get like two inches of rain in one day. It's like it's flooding the uh, creeks up. This is definitely better than being cramped up in an RV because it's raining. Hopefully tomorrow, well, it's supposed to stop raining tonight. Tomorrow is supposed to be sunny. Tomorrow, I'm gonna jump on my motorcycle and head further in. Check out, uh, I think it's called Richardson Bottoms. Yeah. Pretty nice little hike right here. I'm gonna finish up my hike and uh, head back to the camper. End of my hike. 
And definitely folks, you haven't hiked in the rain, definitely go check it out. And here's my dispersed camping spot, pretty large area. So here's home, sweet home. Hopefully, we're supposed to stop raining tomorrow, or actually this evening. I'm hoping to get out and explore more on my motorcycle. Hey folks, I want to take you down to the Richland Bottoms. It's probably about another two miles from my dispersed camping spot. Like I said earlier, I was in my truck and went down there looking for a dispersed camping spot. And this is the only one I found. And this is definitely a good dispersed camping spot if you want to disperse camp here in this area and explore. I mean, that's the only reason why I chose this spot. Because I haven't been around this area. It's a good little spot to check out. Set up camp for a little bit. Tip on motorcycle and explore around this area. Like I said earlier, it has been raining. The roads are still a little muddy and wet. They're still in good shape. You just want to drive down here and take a look. Tell you one thing, this is some beautiful country down through here. Got lots of those uh, pine trees. Still got some runoff right here from the rain. Now I've been here for several days and I have not heard nobody come down through here, so I believe it's hardly used. Look at the beautiful country. Especially when you disperse camp right where I'm at. I mean, it's only like another two miles down this road. Check out the Richard Bottoms wildlife area. Pretty cool. I believe I read a line where a beaver flooded this area. That's why it's here. I do believe we're about to pull up on it right now. Looks like spring is in full bloom. All these purple uh, trees. I also see a little bit of dogwood down through there. And again, lots of pine. Just got done raining. I smell the fresh air. There we go. This is Richardson Bottoms Wildlife Viewing Area. What's still National Forest? Hot Springs Village. Audubon Society, Richardson's Bottoms Wildlife Viewing Area. That's some steep mountain right there. It's pretty much straight up. There we go. This is pretty neat. Well, I'm reading online a beaver caused all this from damming up a little stream. Lots of species of birds and everything. Look at that. But this is pretty cool looking in the summer months. Yeah, I see all kinds of birds out through there. Let me park my beast right here real quick. Swap cameras. No less than about two miles from this first camping spot, it's uh, Richardson Bottoms. Let's take a look. Richardson Bottoms. It's a pretty cool little habitat right here, especially right after it rains. A bit late spring. A lot of birds out through here. You can hear them too. Here, take a listen.
you're a bird watcher, this right here would be a pretty cool place to come visit. A rare find. The marsh is one of nature's richest biological communities. It is very rare to find this type of wetland ecosystem in the uplands of the Ouachita Mountains. This 100 acre marsh is located in a natural abandoned channel scar formed when the stream changed course long ago. Now surrounded by higher ground, this bow like depression retains shallow water most of the year and has resulted in the creation of a special habitat rich in reeds, cattails, and sedges. This unique combination of plants and standing water provides opportunities for wildlife not found in the more characteristic pine and hardwood forests. The marsh provides nurseries for waterfowl, wading, and songbirds. A place to live for water-dependent species such as turtles, frogs, and salamanders, and abundance of insects. All of these are linked to complex food webs that reach far beyond the marsh's boundaries. Protecting special places like this results in a greater variety of creatures living in the national forest. Biodiversity is a major benefit of ecosystem management. Pretty cool. Got a little beaver there. That's kind of like a catfish right there. Let's take a look at this. It's pretty much late evening. And the uh, bird sounds are going crazy. I'm going to knock talk to show you around you can hear the birds let's listen to their songs real quick This right here is what it's all about. Exploring the uh, Washita's, doing dispersed camping, exploring the area, and finding places just like this. Pretty cool looking. Richardson's Bottoms, what y'all guys think about that? And here are those uh, loud birds uh, chirping away. If you're into uh, bird uh, viewing, Definitely come down here and check this uh, place out. Uh, this, like I said, from the highway 298, it's uh, all the way down to the Richardson Bottoms, about two and a half miles. And I'm dispersed camping this camping spot, uh, probably about a half mile down the road. I haven't seen any other dispersed camping spots down this road that I would be able to use. So this right here is pretty much it for this uh, whole road if you're interested in dispersed camping here. And as usual, I will take you to the end of this road. Like I said, it's a half mile to Highway 298. I'm gonna bring you in. I'm gonna show you uh, some of the, uh, well, actually one, the signage to show you how to get in here. I've looked on Google Maps and I cannot find the name of this road right here. So definitely, if you wanna come out here, punch in my grid coordinates into your GPS and it should take you right out here. I'm gonna start you out over on uh, Highway 298 and bring you in a half mile in. Hey folks, I'm uh, heading east on Highway 298. This right here is Highway 298. I think the closest town is probably Fanny. But you're traveling down uh, how, uh, east on 298, you're gonna be coming to this sign right here. If you see that sign right there on the right, it's right here. We're off the sign, you'll be uh, turning it right. This right here is the uh, 
Richardson Bottoms uh, viewing area. It's like a wetlands down through there. That's the main reason why I dispersed camped here. Try to find a spot. So we're going to check this spot out. It's pretty cool uh, looking at these uh, different wetlands around the uh, Washtenaw National Forest. And the Richardson Bottoms is like two and a half miles down this uh, dirt road. I want to take you to my dispersed camping spot, which I cannot find a road name for this road right here. But right after this sign, you're heading east, you're turning right onto the next dirt road. As you can tell, that's a pretty nice little uh, dirt road. I'm like less than probably a half a mile down here. And the road is still wet. I mean, it rained all day today. Just now started clearing up, clear skies. I knew how to get out here and uh, do a bike ride. Yes, yeah, there's the uh, Richardson Bottom Road, I guess is what it's called. Google Maps is not even naming the road. Right around this corner, is my dispersed camping spot. Right there is uh, the hike I went on earlier on that log road. And as soon as you make it left, you can see me dispersed camped up right there on the left. I've been up and down this road a couple times and all the way to the bottoms, Richardson Bottoms. There's no dispersed camping spot that I can see. This here is the only one that I've found on this road. Yep, home sweet home right here. It's been a good little spot. I'm definitely glad I got to get out a little bit, even though it was raining. Easy peasy. Pretty easy place to find, easy road. Uh, they pretty much keep this uh, gravel road uh, maintained. So uh, yeah, let me give you one more look around. We just want to come out in the Washita National Forest, do some uh, dispersed camping. This out here would be a pretty good spot to do that. But be mindful, I mean, like I said, this is the only place I've seen you can disperse camp on this road. So have a second, maybe even third choice, just in case you come here and somebody is already here. Have a, another choice you can go to. Service is good. I think two bars, Verizon. Of course, bring your Starlink. Mine's working pretty good up there. If you have one, if you want internet. If you want shade, you can probably park underneath the uh, pine trees right here, get some good shade. It's kind of a little bit level down through there. Like I said earlier, there was uh, looking at Google view or map or satellite view. I saw RVs parked there and there. So this place does get frequented, I believe. Well, I got you on here. I want to definitely thank uh, my Patreons. Helping out with my travels, my dispersed camping, so I can bring you guys videos. Much appreciate you, Patreon folks. And my uh, page membership. I got JD as a page membership. Pretty cool spot. Hey folks, appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, just uh, as a reminder, I do have a Facebook page. I, do, I am on uh, Instagram. If you could go there and follow me on there. And yeah, folks, uh, as always, I put the bid, uh, the uh, put the uh, grid coordinates to this location, this video description. And while you're in there, I got a couple of Amazon links. And I've also uh, got a link to take you to a map of all my dispersed camping locations in the United States. You click on that link and it'll pull up all my uh, dispersed camping spots. Click on whatever spot you're interested in and my video from that spot will pop up and you can view the video. Hey guys, thanks for watching. <laughs>